Hello Capricorn, how are you doing? We're gonna be looking at who is coming towards you for the month of April. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for Capricorn for all your love on your video last week. You guys got up to 18,000 views in less than a week. So thank you Capricorn, you guys always show me love. So please continue to show me love. Please make sure you continue to comment, like, and share my videos. That's how you get the views. And that's why you guys are always usually up first in the roundup, okay? So let's see who is coming towards you, Capricorn. Um, this could be for uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? This may or may not resonate for you, but if it does, there is an extended below where you can look at this person's thoughts and their feelings towards you. You could also see their intentions towards you. Um, their next actions and we'll also be looking at the outcome for april so if you're uh interested in that capricorn the link for that is in the, in the description box below you can also check out my beauty products that i just launched please feel free to support me i have a hair mask and a toner and then i also have my uh candle stock there's a little like restock of those if you want to check that out personal readings are also in the description box okay so what's coming towards you, we have fifth house and uh, we have grand trine. So this is creativity and blessings. So this is someone who is actually pretty happy that you're in their life. I'm also getting Aries at the bottom of the deck. So they could be an Aries. I definitely get Leo as well. So this is someone who's pretty happy to have you in their life. I'm hearing the song Fortunate by Maxwell. So fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just as sure as the sky is blue, I'm blessed the day that I found you. So this could be, I'm getting cross watcher energy too. So the Capricorn could feel this way about you because Capricorns are very R&B. They love to listen to some R&B when they're in their feelings. So either way, I feel like this person, it feels very happy to have you. This person is inspired by you. I feel like this person feels lucky because of you, the person coming towards you. This might be a continuation of your reading last week. All right, let's see. We have worth waiting for, we have healing family issues and let your friends help you. So some of you, this is someone that you have started off as a friend situation or you guys might have mutual friends. Okay, um, I'm definitely seeing that, but I, I feel like this person feels like things are worth waiting for. I do think that this person is a little worried that you may not be fully into them. Okay, so they do have some issues around insecurities. I think that you actually may be into this person as well, Capricorn, but I think that they're a little worried about whether or not you're fully into them. So some of you guys may need to let this person know that you're still into them. I don't know why I'm getting that, especially if it's a fire sign or a Pisces or a Cancer. All right, let's see what is coming towards Capricorn. Who is coming towards Capricorn? Who is coming towards Capricorn in April spirit? We have gratitude. This could be somewhat, oh, it's in reverse, but I, I kind of get that. I was, I was seeing it upright, so I'm gonna leave it there. Will, yeah. I feel like this is someone who's finally ended another situation in their life. Yeah, creation, that goes right. And the self-love, yeah. So whoever this person is, is they're feeling a lot better about themselves. This is someone who's like not in a good space in their life. They might be going to therapy. This is someone who's finally ended a toxic cycle in their life. Like they were still dealing with someone. They weren't sure if they needed to leave that person. But dealing with that person um, lowered their self-worth. Like they were with this person maybe because their family liked this person, um, you know, they were with this person for the wrong reasons, okay? So you've inspired this person to love themselves and to leave behind a situation that taught them a lot but wasn't for them anymore. You've also inspired this person to keep building in their life. They might even be like into business or they might be entrepreneurial, whoever this person is. I'm getting they could be an Aquarius. Um, so you've inspired this person to really start to love on themselves. You've given them a sense of purpose, okay? You've helped this person learn more about what they deserve so it might be like a friend's first type of approach with this person but that was really for the benefit of both of you because i feel like this person was not in the space of fully loving themselves so it would not have been a good a good situation for you guys to jump right into a relationship with this person in my opinion so let's see what the tarot is saying about who's coming towards you who is coming towards you for capricorn who is coming towards capricorn in april who is coming towards Capricorn. 
So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse. So um, yeah, this is strongly could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like I'm already getting that this is someone, they might have heavy air in their chart, um, like an Aquarius moon or something. This is somebody that the love was there almost probably instantly, or you guys did have an opportunity to have love, but for some reason there it wasn't, it didn't get, it didn't, you know, take off. Like this is someone you had an opportunity to be in a relationship with in the past and it didn't take off, okay? So this is, to me, a uh, lover returning. We have the two of wands, okay? And let's see what else we have. Yeah, the sun and the six of wands, wow. So this is a Leo. This is somebody who was afraid to get hurt this is somebody who was afraid to let go of their past. They could have been afraid to let go of an air sign or a water sign. They could also be an earth sign. This person could be a Taurus or a Capricorn, maybe a Virgo. But I'm getting strong Leo. This person is overcoming a lot, whoever you're dealing with. And they were really closed off before. This is probably someone who was very cold to you, very emotionally unavailable. And it was possibly because of what they went through in the past, like giving their heart to people, expecting a relationship from someone and they never got it. This person might have dealt with somebody who was a liar or wasn't on the up and up, okay? So I feel like this person is overcoming their past issues and their family issues. This isn't really somebody, I mean, they could have been with a third party if they were with the King of Swords in reverse. I feel like they left that person because they realized either there was no more love in this situation or it wasn't a situation that was going to like move into 10 of cups or, you know, a long-term relationship. Um, I feel like it was maybe not even a false start, but like a relationship that never really got to get off the, the ground they were in. But this is telling me that this person is making big strides in their life. They're op they're ready to open their heart. Okay. So if you're done with the Leo, they're coming in really strong. They want to be victorious with you. They definitely want to like change, like I'm getting change. And I got that in another reading. I think it was Leo's reading page of cups. This is slowly but surely on this person's part. Like, honestly, I feel like this person's already in this energy of kind of opening up emotionally. But I really get in April, whoever this person is that's coming through towards you, could be a Pisces. Um, they actually are going to become more and more emotionally available. Um, yeah, with the Queen of Cups. And I the reason why, <laughs> I think the reason why that this person is going to be more emotionally available and more present and more committal in your life, like, why they're really going in this time around is because there's competition around you with the five of wands. They feel like they are, they know they're competing. Like, you know what I mean? You're not, you're a catch. If they don't step it up or if they don't stop this cold hearted act, it's like, you don't, you're not putting up with it. So it's either they're going to, they're going to change their, their ways or they're going to lose you. Okay. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, they know that. Um, for some of you, this person was upset that they weren't getting their way with you in some way as well. Because with um, healing family issues, I feel like this person might have like controlling or worth waiting for. I feel like maybe you, they wanted something. Like maybe they thought being cold and, um, and emotionally manipulative was going to get you to do something or commit to them the way that they wanted it. And they're okay with your pace now too. That could be something as well that I'm seeing. Okay. So whoever's coming towards you, they're coming towards you with victory in mind getting strong Leo energy, Aquarius off of this person, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, any of the air signs, okay? And I think I said Aries already, but yeah, all right. So hopefully that resonates for you, Capricorn. We are going to go ahead and go into the extended for you. And in the extended, um, I just want to take a look at this person's thoughts about you. I'm going to look at their feelings towards you, their intentions. Well, their intentions are the star, we see that, and their actions towards you. Um, I also want to see what the outcome for April is with this person. So if you are um, interested in that, I was going to say excited. <laughs> well, if you are excited and interested to see the extended, please check out the link below. Um, you can also check it out for personals and any of my merchandise. Please comment, Cap uh, Capricorn. Please like the video and share. I would really appreciate that, okay? I'll see you guys next time or I'll see you in the extended. All right, Caps? Peace.